A thin strip of dirt saved dozens of homes in the Gulch fire. It was a man-made fire break built with federal and grant state money. 23ABC's Chris Ornelas went into the fire zone today to see how it worked. Chris? Well, Aaron, the fire break is just a thin strip of dirt that has been cleared of all grass or anything that can burn. When seen up close, it hardly seems big enough to stop a raging wildfire, but that's exactly what it did Tuesday night as the Gulch fire headed towards homes. Patrick Donovan owns a home in the Hungry Gulch subdivision. This group of homes on the hillside above Lake Isabella was under the gun Tuesday evening as the Gulch fire raced towards them. But Donovan and all of his neighbors still have their homes, thanks in large part to this. They were able to put people out here to start doing a fuel break, cut in line in so that way they can help protect the homes. Donovan is grateful his home was saved. This is the second time they saved our house. About three years ago, there's one that came down from Sawmill Road. It doesn't seem like this small of a fire break could do anything, but you can clearly see where the fire stopped right at the man made fire break. Fire officials say the size of the fuel determines the size of the break. This two or three feet wide was just perfect for this type of fire. The break was put in with the help of federal and state grant money back in 2008 and has been maintained by crews regularly since then. My thanks go out to all the firefighters, the hotshot crews. You guys do a fantastic job out here. We just want to make sure that everybody understands how important these fuel breaks were. Fire officials say without the break, dozens of homes may have been lost in the fire. I'm pretty sure that it would have went into this canyon and then the wind would have took it and we would have had a different outcome. County fire officials say they have $900,000 in grant money to build and maintain fire breaks in 2012. In the newsroom, Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.